Big ACC matchup. Number 10, Wake Forest. They're 9-1 and one on the season. Travels to Clemson to play Clemson. They're 7-3, and three and they're still in us. Clemson is a three-and-a-half-point favorite in this game, and they're not even right. Sam Hartman, the quarterback for Wake, has done a terrific job all season long throwing the football. He's eighth in the nation with 3,163 yards passing. But if you look at this offense, they're second in scoring at almost 45 points a game, so you know they're going to score some points. But what leads Clemson is their defense. Brent Venable, their defensive coordinator, has done a terrific job with this defense. They don't give up a lot of points. They're third in scoring in the nation, and they've got talent on that side of the ball. But their offensive line has been horrendous this year. That's where they've had problems, not running the ball effectively or efficiently. So I think Wake is going to put points up, even though this defense is terrific on Clemson. It's not going to be as high scoring as most people think. I'm going to take Wake in the three-and-a-half points in this game. I'm going to say Clemson wins this game in an upset over number 10 Wake, but Wake covers the number. The final score is going to be 28 to 26. Who would have thought it was possible with everybody very close? But if they beat Wake Forest, they could very easily win their division and play in the championship game. But you mentioned, Mark, their offensive line is very, very poor. The quarterback has had trouble. He's only thrown eight touchdowns and seven interceptions, and I've been impressed with him. The defense of Clemson's absolutely outstanding each and every week. However, there's going to be a week where they just don't quite show up, and I think it's going to be this time. I think if we did not give Coach Clawson near enough credit at Wake Forest. True, they are 9-1. True, they're the surprise team in the division. And it's also true they haven't beat anybody real special. The one real good football team they played was North Carolina, and they lost a football game. Hartman, the quarterback, I, it's now a four-year starter. Through for, uh, I, I think it's 30 touchdowns, only eight interceptions. The receiver, Perry, has 47 receptions, and 11 of those went for a touchdown. I think that even though it's a Clemson, even though it's going to determine who's going to represent who in the championship game, I look for Wake Forest to upset Clemson 31-24. to 24. Clemson's defense is very suspect. Uh, uh, excuse me, Clemson's offense is very suspect. Wake Forest has a great offense and a poor defense, so it's a perfect matchup. The strength of each team is offset by the strength of the other team, but I think Wake Forest wins 31, Clemson 24 in an upset. I know that they may rush me off to the insane asylum after that prediction, but I think it's going to work out. <laughs> 